So in today's video, I'm going... <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but fall has always been and will always be my very favorite time of the year. And it is an especially good time for cozy gaming. Fall of 2022 has no shortage of the cozy cute games, which is great because they are the only kinds of games I play and there's nothing wrong with that. So in this video, I'm going to be going over five of the many cozy cute games coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall. I'm gonna tell you guys when you can get them, how much they are, show you what the game looks like, give you the synopsis, give you all the goods to get you in the cozy spirit. I think all of these games are perfect to play, you know, cuddled up under your favorite like TJ Maxx or Marshall's fluffy blanket an apple cider or a pumpkin spice latte, which there is nothing wrong with. Don't let anybody tell you there's something wrong with a pumpkin spice latte. Anyway, I think these games are super cute and cozy looking. I wanna talk about them and that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe to the channel for more cozy, chaotic content like this, okay? I will shut up and let's see the cozy games. Very first game that I'm going to be talking about is already out by the time this video is going up. You can play it. You don't have to wait. There's no waiting involved for this one. This game is called Wild Flowers. It is available in the Nintendo eShop right now and it is $24.99. So it's a farming game and it has all of your favorite farming game components like a cute town with cute characters, cute animals, uh, crafting, fishing, all of the cute wholesome stuff. But, but in this game, you're a witch. It's cute, cozy, but you're a witch and it's spooky. You play as Tara, who has just moved to a cute rural island to help out her grandma and the family farm. Of course. Get to know a memorable cast of fully voiced characters with intriguing backstories, find friendship, or even romance. We can romance people. We can date everybody. We can break up with everybody. It's gonna be lovely. The crops, care for animals, fish, craft, and more. But by night, you get to nurture your inner witch as you learn to fly your broomstick brew potions, control the weather and seasons, and even transform into a cat. I'm sorry, um, say less. I'm sold. Sounds great. This game looks so, so cute. It has so many of the best farming sim qualities. I love specifically games where there are a lot of characters in town. It seems like there are about 30 plus characters in this one. And I love that you can have different friendships with them and do the romantic relationships. If you know this channel, you know I get too into that. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun combining the traditional farming that we love with doing magic and learning witchcraft and all of that fun, spooky stuff that we love. I think it's gonna be absolutely a great game to play for fall and I'm really excited to check it out. The next game is another cute but spooky game that I think is absolutely perfect for fall, especially those of you, I know you all love Halloween. I know you all love Halloween, so I think this one is gonna be a good one for you as well. This one is called Panko Park. This one hasn't released yet. It is releasing on September 27th in the eShop and it'll be just $12.99. So a little bit less expensive than some of the other games we're gonna talk about today. Panko Park is a game about exploring an abandoned wildlife park. Meet its mysterious inhabitants by taking photos and interacting with the world. Snap magnificent shots and discover the creature's most interesting poses. You collect wildlife details and snapshots in your trusty guidebook. Doing this, you uncover the park's history, secrets, and many hidden paths. Using your trusty Panko grappling hand to interact with the environment and enter the spooky realm by unlocking your camera's ghost -o vision. So this is kind of like one of those games where you're hunting for different kind of monsters and you're taking pictures of them. It's more of a collection based game than like a design or a farming game, but I think it looks very cute, wholesome. I know I personally really love games where you're kind of collecting different things. It's like, I kind of always want to, you know, like a Pokemon you want to catch them all. The characters look absolutely hilariously spooky and adorable. So I can't wait to try my hand at finding them all. The next game I want to talk about also has park in the name, but it's it is very different from the last one we just talked about. This one is Bunny Park. And yes, 
it is exactly what you think it is. It is a bunny farming sim game, okay? You are having a little collection of bunnies, you're having a little farm. What more do you need? This one is coming out on September 30th in the eShop. It is on sale right now if you pre-order it. It's $17.99 if you pre-order it, or the full price is $19.99. This game looks adorable. You're choosing from a range of decorations and designs and toys to create a really cute park for your bunnies. You can expand your park and increase its rating to attract new bunnies. Be sure to pet your bunnies to keep them happy, but don't wake them up and bring all of the bunnies home, each with their own pattern and personality. And oh my god, this is giving me Nintendo dogs but bunnies, and I'm so excited for it. And I mean, who doesn't get excited about seeing bunnies in a park that you can create all your own to attract more bunnies? Am I right? It looks absolutely so adorable. The next game is another game I'm super excited about. It is called Lemon Cake. It is coming on September 30th as well in the eShop. It is available for $29.99. This game's super cute because it's bringing like the old school like computer games you used to play as a kid or at least I did like Diner Dash and Cake Mania and it's bringing that but adding a farming and customization element to it. The bakery might be initially broken down, overgrown, and even haunted, but don't worry, you'll be able to repair, furnish, and decorate every room in the bakery. Gather honey from your beehive, raise a cow to collect fresh milk, and adopt a few chickens to add to your recipes. You can also mix ingredients together to prepare all kinds of recipes, including baked pastries, candies, frozen desserts. Be sure to serve your customers quickly and keep your window display well stocked so you don't miss out on an order. So yeah, it's pretty much one of these task-based games where you're serving customers and you're you know following what they want to do but it's giving you a little bit more freedom in it and it's a little bit more customizable which i think is super unique and i'm excited to check it out the final game i'm going to talk about today i'm going to talk about a game that is very different from the previous ones i've mentioned but it perhaps looks like the most beautiful game i've ever seen it's called naiad it's coming to nintendo switch on october 13th so this one is a little bit further away and it's going to be available in the eShop for 16 dollars now this game looks like the most peaceful and a wholesome thing I've ever seen. So pretty much you're flowing with Nyad across a mysterious river and you interact with its fauna and flora to discover little secrets. Enjoy a wholesome experience with a dreamy and original visual style. Learn to swim like a duck, dive like a fish, dash like a frog, and meet other adorable friends like butterflies, rabbits, turtles, snakes, and crocodiles. Help them find their way to avoid obstacles. It's a journey in 16 episodes that will take you through beautiful, strange places all while being on a river. This game was also created by a solo developer and you can really tell that they have so much artistic talent and just like a love for this game just by watching the trailer and the game footage. I can't wait to check it out. It feels like a very chill, slower paced game that's perfect for like stunning visuals and like calming, calming fall evenings. It looks really interesting and I'm excited to see what I can do on this river. It looks like a really fun time and I'll be definitely checking it out. Like I said, guys, these are just five of many, 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 many other cozy games coming to Switch in the fall. Not even to mention the cozy games coming in the spring, but we'll get to that some other time. Let me know, based off of the games I talked about today, which ones are you most excited about or willing to test out? Or what other games did I miss? What games are you guys most excited about for cozy game fall? I want to know. Let me know. Thank you all so much for being here. Once again, if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it so very much. I post so much content like this and other cozy, chaotic stuff. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. All the love in the world. Bye-bye.